Picture this. Four siblings separated as young children and put up for adoption. Three of them found a new home together, but the youngest went to another home, becoming just a name and a vague memory for the other three. For decades, they did not know how to find one another, had never spoken to or laid eyes on one another, but that is about to change right here. First, though, a look at their journey. Christine, Lori, and Brian shared a biological mother and later an adopted home. Well, my parents didn't keep it a secret that we were adopted. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of information. Um, a, a closed adoption doesn't offer that option, really. Um, we did know we had another sister. Uh, we knew her name was Amber. We didn't have any contact with our biological family, with um, any of our biological grandparents or anything like that. It was all kind of handled uh, completely separate. Well, we always had to convince people because we would say, no, this is our brother. And they'd be like, no, he's not your brother. We're like, yeah, All he's our, time. he's our, no, he really is our brother. And no, I always, people would disbelieve when I said the same thing, that they were my sisters, mm -hmm. so. But decades later, questions they couldn't answer still lingered. I always get the question, what are you? Even, you know, moving to a new job this year, I got it several times, the what are you, and explaining the backstory. Um, of who we are in our adoption and everything. And so finally I just went, you know, I see these 23andMe commercials all the time. I might as well just do it. Lori's results came back, revealing far more than just her heritage. Digging further into that was just like an, oh my gosh, moment. Mm-hmm, and joining us now, three of those siblings, Lori White, Christine Gottschalk, and Brian Gottschalk. Great to see you all. <laughs> all right, so you decide, you know, like a lot of, of adopted kids, what am I? You just want to find out more about your heritage. You go to 23andMe and got a whole lot more information back than just your heritage. What was the shocker on that page? So when you go uh, on your 23andMe reports, they have something called DNA relatives that you can opt into. And so when you do that, it'll break it down between close family members and first cousins and third and fourth and fifth and sixth cousins. And there is a little one right next to uh, direct family members. And so I clicked on it and it put Amber's name up. And I remembered, you know, our, our parents had always told us that there was another sibling after us. Her name was Amber. And at that moment, I, I couldn't even remember. And so I texted my mom and I was like, mom, what was the name of the girl born after us? And she sent it back and she said Amber. And just like all of that matching was just so crazy. There she was. Yeah. You had a had a line on her, a yep. direct line on her. Mm -hmm. Now you you all grew up knowing that you were adopted. Yes. Yep. And in a very happy family, your adoptive family, very loving. The three of you were very close. Two mm -hmm. of you lived together from what I right? Yeah, yeah. we lived together. Okay, yeah. So you're you're very tight. Yeah. You lived down the road or something close yep. by. Mm -hmm. Um you knew about Amber growing up, you knew that there was a fourth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Just just didn't have any touch with her and didn't know how to find her, I guess. No, because we were closed adoption. So um, it just said in our pa it said in our paperwork, and then there are pictures in our file. So we all came with three files of our medical stuff and everything, okay. and there are pictures in there. And my mom um, apparently was like, "Well, who's this kid?" And so that's how they found out about her. And then it's written in the medical file, half sister named Amber, you know, born. So as I understand it, your your parents said we would have liked to have adopted the fourth, because I'm sure a lot of people are saying, "Why would your parents take three and not the right. fourth?" Right. But it wasn't an option. She wasn't available now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was, and we'll get to why that was in a minute. But so she wasn't available. They took the three of you. Um, and then why did you, did you always know why you don't look alike, the three of you? Or was that also determined on the 23 Me? Yeah. <laughs> we were. <laughs> we figured out we had different dads pretty early on. Okay. So all three of you have the same mom. Yes. Biological mom. Yes. Yep. And you, you've had no contact. You never had any contact no, with her no after contact, the adoption. No. Okay. And, and the dad's. No, not either. Nope. No. Unknown. They were ruled okay. out by DNA tests. Okay. Yeah. And did you ha do you have starkly different heritage? Was it a shock to you to find that out? Well, I mean, I'm the only one who did the the DNA kit, but I mean, I think just looking at all of us, we all have such different <laughs> characteristics. Yes. Um, so we, you know, I I wasn't surprised to find out what uh, the 23andMe results were, but it just confirmed all the guesses, I mean, because yes. so much of my life. So you you find out that Amber's out there and has gone to 23andMe, uh, so is at least yeah. curious, mm -hmm. and you contacted her. Yep. Now, they've never seen each other. They have, they have not seen each other, they have not met, they have not spoken, yeah. but she's 
right over there, and she's going to come into this studio right after the break. Through clicking, it says you have one direct family member, and my eyes just kind of, okay. And then I click on that, and it pulls up um, Amber's name, and I was just like, I think I just found our half-sister that we've known about but never known. We're back now talking to siblings Lori White, Christine Godschalk, and Brian Godschalk, who found their baby sister earlier this year with the help of 23andMe. The four siblings have never seen each other all in person as adults, but we are about to change all of that right here. Now, first, let me ask you, Brian, Christine, and Lori, are you nervous? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm nervous, excited. too. Yeah, excited, nervous. Excited. Are you ready to meet your long-lost sister, Amber? Amber? Yes. Come on out. Aw, is it emotional for you? What are you feeling? I did not expect to cry. <laughs> uh, it's just great. <laughs> Tears of joy? Yeah. Aw, yeah. you too? Mm -hmm. what, is it, what, what is this feeling like for you? I mean, it's, we've, we've been nonstop talking since we met, and, or since we found each other, I guess. And so um, I guess to think of, you know, there's lost time, but now we have all this time. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> and Amber has wonderful news coming her way, yeah. right? You're expecting yes. a baby. Yes. Oh. And so what a time. What a time yeah. for you to reunite with family. Yes, it's been an exciting year so far. <laughs> right? I mean, your child, you didn't know your child was going to have active aunts and an uncle in right. his or her life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. we just heard Lori walk us through her 23andMe experience. What, yes. what happened with you when you first... Were con Cause you went, you went first, so did you, you didn't get any match. Right, so I signed up about a year and a half ago and had to maybe just some distant relatives that popped up and um, honestly. Were you looking for your three siblings? Um, it was definitely in the back of my head. I think like you, I was more just like, what is my heritage and all of that. And so when Lori contacted you, what did that feel like? It was crazy. I, <laughs> I did not expect, well, I didn't expect the message. I didn't expect the emotion. And it just felt like immediately just wonderful. So you also grew up knowing that you had three older siblings. Yes. And, and you wound up going with, for a time, with your biological grandparents, right? You yes. were the baby of the family. And for some reason, they, they took care of you while the, your older siblings were in foster care for a time before they got adopted. Yeah. Um, but that's why you weren't available, because your grandparents had you. Yes. They ultimately put you up for adoption, right? Yes. But yeah. an open adoption, because they wanted to stay in touch with you. Yeah. And you, were, you had a happy childhood? You had a nice upbringing? Yeah, lovely. Wonderful. Okay. And did you always wonder where the other th siblings were? Yeah, it was definitely in my head. Like, who are they? What are they doing? You know, what kind of lives do they have? And mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Lori? I know you're married, right? Yeah. When you got married, you had your sister there, yep. you had your brother there. Mm -hmm. And Amber, are, are you married? I am. And so you, you didn't have it, them there? No, but I had my family yeah. that I grew up with. I have a brother and, you know, my parents were all there and I lots wonder of if there's any feeling of, you know, mourning for the lost time together. I think there's a certain amount of mourning, but at the same time, we, I think we had all so accepted the fact that we just kind of had these mysterious siblings and so it didn't it wasn't like oh my gosh i have to find them with every resource i have mm -hmm. yeah now you're still um in touch with your uh, maternal grandparents right your your grandma yes um how has that been over the course of your life to have her and and have you been sharing details of of those grandparents with with your siblings yes so it's i mean for me my grandparents were the lights of my life. So um, growing up and having them was invaluable. And yeah, I think we've, we've talked a little bit about grandma and grandpa, but I think when we get to actually spend some time in person together, we'll probably get to get into more details. Now I have to ask you, Brian, do you feel validated that you finally have somebody in the family who looks like you? <laughs> <laughs> We've always shared resemblances, but yes, 
<laughs> who does look amazingly more like me than, than my other You've got nothing to prove now. <laughs> that, that's it. You're, obviously, you're connected. It's been confirmed by 23andMe. Right. Thank you for sharing your story. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for having uh, It's us. thrilling to see you come together, and good luck with your yeah. baby. Thank you. All thank the best to your family. Yeah. And thanks to 23andMe for helping us find this story. Love 23andMe. Unbelievable stories from them. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.